No, there it's going. Go. See the red dot in the top mm -hmm. left co top right corner. So you can start whatever. Hi everyone, it's Lauren with the Crowley Crew. Today uh, we wanted to give you an update on Alessandra and how she's been doing. Last Tuesday, Carolina was starting her therapy session when she started going into what I think they called a status seizure. And that's basically where she was just um, having seizure activity constantly for about two and a half hours. So that was kind of scary and we gave her um, several emergency type seizure medications and called 911, have EMS come out and monitor her. And um, so they suggested that we go ahead and transfer to the hospital since she wasn't, still wasn't calming down from the seizure even though we had given her the medications and it had been 30 minutes to an hour after that. On the way to the hospital, she started doing a lot better so that was a relief, but uh, we still needed to figure out what to do to move forward um, and what we could do to keep her from going into that kind of seizure again. So we were admitted to the hospital there um, and they got in touch with our neurologist and we were able to figure out uh, a new dosage for one of her seizure medications. So we were able to go home the same day. That was really, really nice uh, to not have to spend the night there, but it was really late when we got home. And then the next day, well, the next morning, she was still not breathing very well and still having some seizure, some extra seizure activity. So we realized that the seizure activity was probably caused from a virus, which was causing her to have a lot of respiratory problems and um, so we started treating her for that and giving her her nebulizer treatments. What we had was um, just like albuterol and saline. At the time we started just giving her that. So for several days we tried to just treat her um, as we normally would. But basically, she just kept getting worse. We couldn't keep her oxygen levels up high enough. And um, even with the breathing treatments, she just was requiring a lot of oxygen 24 seven. So we took her to the doctor on Friday and um, she gave her a steroid shot and an antibiotic shot and sent her in to get a chest x-ray which did show infection fluid in the lungs and stuff so she um, she was starting at least to get pneumonia so we had to put her on an antibiotic for that and she started getting better pretty quickly after that so she's much much better now and we were able to stay out of the hospital we were also able to get a a machine that's like a BiPAP machine. It's a non-invasive ventilation and um, her pulmonary specialist had been trying to get her this since her last hospital stay and we had just been approved to get it. So we got that on Monday and I think that's going to help, you know, especially when she's sick to help keep her lungs open and stuff so she can heal faster and um, so Anyway, we just thought we would go ahead and let you guys kind of see what we do when she is sick, especially with the respiratory problems. That's her normal, that's her main problem she gets. So the nebulizer treatments, we actually, her doctor called in another one, which is a steroid treatment. So she gets the saline, which helps break up the congestion and fight the infection the albuterol opens everything up and um, allows her to be able to breathe easier it stops the wheezing and that kind of thing and then the um, there's another one that we give her which is Pulmacort and that's a steroid that helps bring down the inflammation so she's able to heal faster so we give her those three we were giving those three or four times a day 
um, and they take quite a while. So it's pretty intensive. We're very grateful to have Carolina helping us now because doing all that stuff is very, very time consuming. And I'm like two weeks away from having the baby and not very comfortable bending over with a nebulizer machine and stuff like that. Um, and then of course with the other two kids. So that's worked out and been really great um, to have that extra help. The other thing that we use, which I've mentioned before, is the Hillrom vest. And basically that's just a air-filled vest that we put on her and turn it on. And it does the same thing as chest percussion would do, just um, to get everything loosened up in her chest and get things moving so when she coughs, she's actually able to cough something up. It's much harder for her to move her lungs and to get good deep breaths and that kind of thing. And that's also where the Trilogy machine comes in because when she wears that, it's a mask that goes over her nose and um, if she doesn't take a, a deep enough breath, it will um, add additional pressure to open up her lungs and help her be able to breathe, help her lungs to not, you know, be sitting there full of fluid and collapsing and not um, taking in adequate oxygen. But she's doing a lot better now and she's acting like her old self. She's still got, you know, a cough and um, we're still doing everything that we were doing before. Uh, but she's acting a lot better and she's getting better and so today we were able to start up therapy again and that's been really good and I'm hoping that that will help out as well getting her just just getting her body moving and getting out of that just laying down position I think will help her as well but we're just really um, grateful that she is on the mend and we only had to be in the hospital for a few hours and she has seemed to really pull through this easily. Thank you to anyone who was praying for her. And thanks for watching the video. And we'll see you in the next one.